all right good day and welcome my wonderful people all over the world good afternoon good evening good morning depending on your location this one is another one kwan kwaso of kano kwan kwaso therefore regret not forming an alliance with peter obi the presidential candidate of the new nigeria people's party known as the nmpp senator rabi omosa kwankwaso says it is quite unfortunate that the alliance between his party and labor party didn't materialize former anambra state governor peter obi is the presidential candidate of the labor party kwankwaso expressed his regret when he spoke at uh, a forum with the Nigerian Guide of Editors, NGE, and senior journalists in Lagos on Sunday. On this note, Kwankwaso said if the alliance had worked, there would not have been current uh, contemplation that there might be a rerun of uh, presidential poll in 2023 because he and Peter Obi would have won by a landslide. He said the alliance didn't see the light of the day because of the insistence of uh, the Labour Party team that power must return to the East. This was written this as I thought the alliance would be good. If we had done that, nobody would be talking about a second ballot in 2023 at our discussions. The issue was who will be the presidential candidate and vice presidential candidate. Both parties raised the negotiation committees. Our team was led by Baba Galadima. The committees looked at age, educational qualification, office height, and experiences. At the end of the committee, the committee didn't want to go with this. They worked about power shifting to the south and to the southeast. Nigeria has gone beyond that. Nobody, he says, can be president of Nigeria now based on ethnic and regional considerations. All right, my wonderful people, I will say that Kwankwaso um, should stop uh, regretting. You shoot yourself on the foot. A long time ago, you did that. Uh, did you or did your aid not uh, say you are more experienced than Obi? Most Nigerian politicians are like uh, Gambas, Kalakudla, Baba, Ijebu, and the uh, corruption players. They never see or accept the truth until it is too late. Now, it is now to say that it is true. There is a touch of divine intervention in this whole turning point. If you try to obstruct it, you will be consumed. Right now, the odds are no longer fixed. You still have an option. Close up shop before it is too late. The truth has been that, uh, well, well spoken, I don't know why the North are refusing to step down for the South. This uh, 2023 election is an eye-opener for the South. We should not, uh, okay, we should, we should that uh, most rightly and they belong to us enough of these uh, questions okay my wonderful people the truth is uh, after obediati has won this election kwankwaso will never smell those two cities in life okay he has lost it by not uh, depolizing obi all right that has been on today's a lot of reactions i think it is all too late to even regret kwankwaso should know that uh, he cannot uh, compare himself with Peter Obi in terms of popularity. He is only known in Kano. Why Obi is shaking the entire country? All his uh, opponents are ruthless when they hear the name Obi. Baba Ibrahim, you are a super brilliant man. Okay. My wonderful people, without wasting much of your time, I would like to have your take right at the comment section. Assistance, uh, Kwan Kwaso, therefore regretted of not uh, forming an alliance. Is it too late now? Well, it is. Obi will win without you. And it is better that uh, the alliance failed because you will always uh, 
propose yourself to be the reason for the victory so do your best for yourself and see the level of your strength and popularity okay thank you very much my wonderful people and even if you join obi with 100 candidates Tinubu will crush you all in the general election come 2023. Only Tinubu will win. He is the best of all candidates for the election. He is good for the job. Okay, coming shortly from Prof. 1930. Thank you very much, Prof. 1930. All right, that has been the tackle and the statement so far. Remember that anyone is up to say he said uh, take and it is not too late an alliance can still be formed and the inclusive uh, government be formed after the victory at pools you have to compromise the state of living in regret afterward all right that has been onto this matter without wasting much of your time uh okay the rational presidency is good for peace justice and equity age has nothing to do with leadership obama was uh, 47 when he became president and joe biden was his vice president at uh, 66 okay that is selfless uh, selfishness did not uh, allow you to reason very well you can still emerge your party with labor party and take up a different rule from vice president okay my wonderful people let me have your take on this matter he is saying nothing different go back and read again that he said there will be his esteem said the power should be shifted to the south uh, which means uh, which means that uh, on the other side, Kwan Kwasu's team said the current Nigerian politics is far ahead of that. It is no longer on the basis of tribe or religion. If you get time, if you get him right, he is still or against his shifting power to the south. So let everyone continue from where the decision ended. Let everyone of them try his look and see how popular he is but not on social media score card all right thank you very much well let me have a take and remember to subscribe at this very point in time as we call it a day meanwhile let nobody deceive you uh, election is still based on religion or tribe lupita obi will become the next president of nigeria tenubu and atiku will share the muslim vote of uh, the north all christians in the northern 55 percent of uh, of uh, of west is for peter obi southeast and the southeast uh, south south is obi god has ordained obi for president okay he is saying nothing different go back and read again what he said obi's team said power should be shifted to the south okay that is just in reply to that he is saying nothing different go back and read again what uh, we have said it's not by religion but by the might and who cap fit both of you are saying the same thing and that has been onto this matter only almighty god knows why the alliance didn't work let's watch and pray for nigeria as we continue in this uh, hardship to february 2023 this is where kwan got it wrong nigeria had not uh, overgrown rational presidency uh, nigeria political parties are not uh, equally represented with the unequal representative the way out is a uh, rotational politics uh, that will carry everyone along when you include it the north will definitely always be in the presidency and others won't like uh, because it doesn't have equal representation of nigeria this uh, equality happened because the north had been in power for long using military government to make a political policies in favor of the north the only way out for unity and fairness and being in unity is being rational rational office holding for all segments northern politicians knows it favors will always say no rational office be holding including presidency that is very terrible and that has been the talk of the day how can be how can he be expecting the north to retain power again with the current uh, Buhari state of nigeria 
Nigeria will never move forward coming with another Fulani. That's just the truth. All right, my wonderful people, nobody can be president. Yes, but why the Northern always want to be the president and doesn't allow others like Southeast tribe? Mr. President, uh, and it's your problem. All right, that has been onto the matter. Well, let me have your take. That is good. Remember, this is your word, but uh, in 2019, no Nortana contested in PDP and APC. All right, my wonderful people, let me have your take. Remember to be with us at the next one. Thank you, and God bless you.